Hello, welcome to Chessflow How To video. Today we will review the interaction that we now have available between Testflow, our Testflow application and our new Fast Reporter 3 uh, software. So basically any user, active user into the Testflow account now have access to uh, full functionalities of, fa of Fast Reporter. So basically if I take the, the user, which is me today, I can simply use the same credentials that I use to log into the server to log into Fast Reporter and unlock all the functionalities. So basically the first time that I will launch Fast Reporter, it will prompt me this welcome page. I have three options from here. I can create a new test flow account, a new uh, uh, 90 day trial. So basically I can try all the functionalities of test flow as well as Fast Reporter. Um, I could start Fast Reporter in basic mode, in free mode, so it's a simple viewer with limited capabilities, but still it allows you to do some basic reporting, some basic result viewing, or I can log in uh, it and, and unlock all the functionalities of Fast Reporter. So basically here I can simply enter the same credentials that I use to log into the uh, server, and by doing so it will simply let me in and unlock all the functionalities of Fast Reporter. So basically now it's gonna start Fast Reporter in what we call the full mode. So in full mode I will have all the batching capabilities that I have, uh, I will have all the report capabilities that I normally have in full mode. Uh, I can you know do some uh, advanced reporting so in Excel and all, I, I now have access to the validator. So basically now I, I can access all the functionalities of Fast Reporter. I can see where I'm logged in. So basically I'm logged in using the Markcom account. I'm Mark. I can get information about my account ID, the subscription validity of my plan. So this is uh, what I have as well. So basically I can now use Fast Reporter in full mode, you know, as long as I'm an active user in the system. Um, I can use Fast Reporter in what we call, let's say, offline mode. So basically, if you don't have internet connectivity, you can still uh, launch Fast Reporter in um, in full mode. It will be uh, running for seven days. After seven days, it's going to ask you to uh, log back to the uh, the system. So I can quickly demonstrate this. So basically, if I go in uh, airplane mode and I try to launch Fast Reporter, uh, it will still allow me to go and launch Fast Reporter in full mode. It's just that after seven days, it's going to ask me to uh, get a new sync with the server so I can I can uh, use the Fast Reporter again. So basically here, you have the same information, but instead of having, you know, uh, my full subscription, it says that I have seven days, you know, because I need to reconnect to the server at some point. So if I go there and go back to the internet, it doesn't change my interaction, but you know I can I can still use the uh, full functionalities of Fast Reporter. So if you go in cloud here, you could log out, and you could uh, you know also one one features that we we have developed it's you can launch the Tesla server directly from the uh, interface of Fast Reporter. So basically, you can review your dashboard from there. You can you could even actually use this browser to manage the user so you can you can use the embedded browser here you can view the jobs and what we also have we have the possibility to open the um, a result let's say you want to open a result you can open it directly in fast reporter so i can hit download and this will open the result directly in fast reporter i can do it from the uh, embedded browser into uh, into my fast reporter or I could do it from the uh, the browser itself in uh, in Tesla in in my Chrome or Internet Explorer. So basically here, what you see it's it's the result that I that I've done for that specific test ID. Um, another function D that we have is that I can open a full job into uh, into my Fast Reporter. So basically, I could go there, open the job in Fast Reporter. Um, another thing I can do is to simply select a series of files that I want to open in Fast Reporter. Let's say I want to to open them, to edit them or generate a report. I can simply hit the um, open in Fast Reporter. So basically what it's going to do, it's going to sync with a server, it's going to go get these files and it will download them into my Fast Reporter and open them.
once the uh, files are open I can save them locally I can export uh, a report or I could uh, I could I could modify these results so basically I could go and you know edit some information about the thresholds if I wanted to from here I can go here and uh, generate an IOM report so it's it's the integration we've done with the uh, with the uh, with the fast reporter, I can do a modification, hit save, and the result will be saved uh, and sync back with the uh, with the uh, with the server. So basically, here uh, I have a bunch of report that I can select from. So yeah, in short, this is integration that we we've done between the test flow and fast reporter. So any any active user in Teso now have a seat and now have a, a access to to fast reporter using the, the same credential they will use to log onto the server on the test set or in uh, in fast reporter